So what the, how does that relate to all of us? Well, now to get to what I want to say. I believe personally that if we are to maintain an Islamic identity, then we have to protect our mind. Your mind is the most precious thing that you have, your heart. And it's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ السَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ كُلُّ أُولَئِكَ كَانْ عَنْهُمْ مَسْؤُولًا The hearing, the sight, and the heart. All of those the human being is responsible for. You're responsible for them. Now the thing about why hearing first, and then sight, and then the heart. The reason the Qur'an almost always has hearing precedes sight. If you look in the Qur'an, you'll always see Sama' precedes Basar. And the reason for that, one of the reasons, is that hearing is circular. It's not linear. The eye looks linearly. Hearing is circular. You can hear people from behind you. You can't protect your ears in the same way that you can protect your eyes. In other words, people have quicker access to your ears than they do to your eyes. If you see something you don't want to look at, you can immediately turn away. But if somebody is telling you something, it's very difficult just to plug your ears. And Abdurrahman al-Awza'i used to do that. When he, was, when he would see Muqtadi'ah, he would literally plug his ears. And somebody asked him, why do you do that? He said, one of them said something 20 years ago that's still bothering me. It's still bothering me. Now, this is an imam who plugged his ears when he saw a Muslim who had beliefs that were not uh, congruous with Islam. What do you make of people that have spent 20 years, Muslims, watching Kafir television every day of their life? What are we doing? How is that affecting us? How's that affecting us if you turn on your television when you go home and you watch every possible haram thing that's imaginable? One of the things that the ulama say is haram to watch the haram, to look at the haram. What, does, what is that doing to our hearts? And how do we preserve our spiritual integrity if that's the state that we're in? How do we do that? So, the first thing I really feel that everybody has to do as Muslims, we have to turn off the TV. How many people, I'm really serious about this, how many people in here are willing to do that? Not that many. I mean, I'm glad that people are honest. I'd rather have honesty than all these hypocrites. Allahu Akbar, takbir. Not that many. I would say probably maybe it looked like about from here, maybe 15% of the people. That's a start. In Russia, in Moscow, did people see that? The television, the tower burnt down. So 20 million people didn't have TV. And in one of the newspaper articles I read that was in The Guardian in London, they were interviewing these people and they said, I'm getting to know my family again. <laughs> and one lady said, I hadn't realized how much my husband had aged. But they said the parks were filling up, people were actually going down, doing recreational things, walking. People were having to actually talk to each other. People that don't realize, I really don't think they don't realize the impact that this machine has had on our lives. 